everyone, this is David, um, sitting on the Plastiki. Um, the project started about three and a half years ago after reading a report about the accumulation of trash in our oceans. These human fingerprints, um, after doing some research and figuring out that basically the list of solutions is far bigger than the list of problems. In other words, we can stop these issues today very simply by banning dumb, single-use, throwaway, Planet Point One Zero plastics. The styrofoam cup, the plastic bag, the plastic water bottles, the very thing that's keeping us afloat here as we float across the Pacific on our way towards Australia. So I went about trying to figure out how I could contribute to the solutions. And that basically came around by pulling together a team of engineers, artists, architects, and really recognizing that nobody's as clever as everybody. And, and, and ultimately, three and a half years later, we ended up with this, the Plastiki sustainable floating station out here in the middle of the Pacific where all our energy comes from solar or wind or our sea turbine or our even pedal power um, you know we've grown all our own food on board and, and caught it or produced it sustainably in San Francisco so the whole project is really trying to act as a bastion for curiosity uh, it's trying to get people to remain optimistic that there are solutions out there I'm definitely an optimist and I believe that we can solve all these problems if we can only just work together I think one of the big things that's really been amazing about the Plastiki has been the power of the web, the connectivity uh, to people from all corners of the world, all different walks of life with all different opinions, all who have contributed in some way, either through sending us ideas, links to websites, commenting on our blogs, supporting us with information, statistics, um, and generally just being there to support the message through the Plastiki.com website. We obviously use all the social media network tools available to us on Twitter and we're on Facebook and Flickr and all those things and as much as uh, you know we're out here in the middle of the Pacific we're fortunate that we can connect through mobile devices through MRSAT which is our satellite provider and through Hewlett Packard who's our technology partner it allows us the ability to really bring this adventure to people firsthand and I think that in itself allows us to then share these stories which hopefully inspire more people to create their own plastikis, which we're using really as a metaphor for action. So I think all in all, this project wouldn't have been possible without the power of the web, without the power of community, without the power of curiosity. 